You may have heard this story as it's only from a few years ago. However, I thought it was worth making a video about just in case you hadn't heard it and it's funny enough to retell if you already had. There are two sides to every story and the two sides in this story are Valencia FC and DC Comics. As you may know, when companies get big for their boots, they aggressively go searching for anyone who may be infringing on their copyright, knowing full well that almost all the time the person on the receiving end won't have the financial capital nor the lawyer team that the big company has, and so they'll just win automatically and get full control of anything that even remotely resembles their property. Well, this very thing happened between DC Comics and Valencia as someone from DC Comics came across the Valencian badge and thought, hey, that bat there sure does look like a Batman logo. I bet they stole it from us. And so according to Valencia, an objection to this was filed in 2014. And it didn't really go very far, but it did make the news. One of the main reasons this may not have gone as far as it could have is, well, that Valencia and their iconic bat badge predates Batman by around 20 years. And whilst the badge in 1919 wasn't exactly the same, it did feature a bat on it. And in 1921, the iconic design of the Valencia badge we know today was born, and aside from some alterations to exactly how the bat looked, it has pretty much stayed the same. So nothing really happened in 2014, but it was a funny little story to maybe get a laugh at the big company making a mistake. But then the story came back into the limelight just a few years later. 2019, Valencia was celebrating their 100th birthday as a football club, and so like many clubs do, they created a commemorative logo to celebrate the occasion. And when I saw this image that they posted, I couldn't help but have a little chuckle. Because to me, it kind of looks like the people inside Valencia thought, what's the closest we can get to Batman? Whilst also ensuring we still have a good argument on our side and that we won't lose any lawsuit. And this is what they came up with. It's a very cool looking design, but of course the people at DC again thought this time that was too far. Sure, the badge is older than us and that's fair enough, but this was done in 2019 and you knew full well what you were doing. And the threat of lawsuit was back on. But again, Valencia were not just going to back down. They hit back and said, we are not going to just stop using the bat because DC Comics says it. There is no commercial brand that has a worldwide exclusive on bats, which to be honest, is a fair retort. But they continued. When this club played with a bat in the chest in the United States, they were chasing bison. I mean, by most people's standards, this is a relatively tame burn, so to speak. But when it comes from official corporate boring sources, it does raise a few eyebrows. From there, again, the whole thing settled down and nothing but a bit of posturing and half decent corporate quote came from it. But I thought it was still interesting. And that is just a little bit of football history. Thanks for watching.